Okay, everyone, Robert here, and if you're just now catching this, we are Contentment or Contentment Channel. We go by both names. Hopefully my head's not too cut off or anything, but each ship went to town to get some supplies to finish building the shouse and asked me to wash clothes off-grid. And so I strung a line. I don't have any clothespins or anything, so I'm just going to hang them up there. Probably going to be pointless in this wind because it'll blow dust all over them, so it'll be dirty anyway. But my first time off-grid clothes washing in a bucket. And that's how I'm going to do it. So you can watch me and don't do what I do. I guess I'll take it back. I shouldn't say don't do what I do, but I'm really kind of interested in seeing how I'm going to do it this. There's a bunch of bugs. But anyway, so off-grid clothes washing with homemade soap. I'm super excited. Yes, let's do this. Hopefully you can see me up here. I'm setting myself up in the shade back here because I think I'm going to have to help each hip later on out here in the heat and the bright sun. So I'm going to try to conserve some of my sun being in the sun. I'm going to do this over here in the shade. So here I go. my first off-grid clothes cleaning day and um, it was kind of a cool experience it used about 10 gallons of water um, I don't know how clean the clothes are but at least they don't have dirt in them and they don't smell like deet and sweat so but again um, it was a pretty good experience they smell clean they're drip drying over here on the line um, if you guys are a fan of history like I am, Townsend's have a couple of great videos on way back in the day washer women. And I'm going to spoiler alert you. I knew this because uh, I you know, teach history. But anyway, one of the big things that they used back in the day to get clothes clean is urine. And that's what we use here today. <laughs> yes, we've been collecting urine in a bucket for <laughs> clothes, specifically for clothes washing. No, we didn't. <laughs> No, we didn't really. But anyway, so urine is a really good uh, product to clean clothes efficiently very well. And of course, also sun bleaching. And we're, we don't want our clothes to get bleached by the sun. So we kind of have to be careful here because the sun will like take them out pretty quickly. So to try doing this in the morning, in the evening, too many bugs, still mosquito season around here. So we did this early in the morning have them line drying. Hopefully in this dry climate, it won't take too long for them to get uh, finished drying on the line and that will be it. But I'll put a link to the Townsend's videos down below because they're really cool. And if you don't know the Townsend's, that's one of my favorite channels um, on YouTube because it's history, it's food, it's all kinds of fun stuff. And it's all back in the day when people had no electricity and no nothing except, what is it called? Elbow grease and muscle power. But anyway, and people were really pretty good at it. You, know, you could get your whites pretty white, but I don't have any whites to wash here except socks, and they're already grungy, so I'm not going to worry about getting them all nice and bleachy. Anyway, each ship got back in time to help me, and so it's a big, been a good morning. Now we're going to finish working on this house and all of that. So anyway, um, do you have anything, each ship? I just want to show the line. Okay, go ahead. Because those of you who are into semaphore, maybe you can tell me what this says. <laughs> What's semaphore? I don't even know what that it's means. Flag. Ships use it to using flags to spell oh. things out and oh. signal each other. Okay. But, yeah, so there it is. And the line goes clear over there. It's strung over there to Dinah. But um, anyway, 
it's they're so wet and heavy that it's sunk the line down but nothing's touching the ground so yeah i tried to put it up really tight as tightly as i could great job hon so anyway turn this back around um if you anyway thanks for following our adventure don't forget to like subscribe share hit the notification button because you'll see some other fun things like i said earlier do as i say not as i do no i'm just really kidding about that but you know, not a bad experience for my first time off-grid clothes washing. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. See you later.